The Labor tab is where your shop's labor rates are configured. The most important thing to remember here is that the value entered on the first line is used as the default. This means that as new customers are entered for the first time, they will inherit this rate for any work performed on vehicles under their name without any further effort on your part. That's not to say you can't make changes. We'll show you how along the way. We're just trying to automate customer entry so line one should reflect your typical retail labor rate. Many shops use multiple labor rates to reflect their business strategy and range of customers. For example, a shop may assign a lower labor rate to fleet accounts or perhaps customers who are members of certain groups or organizations while charging a higher labor rate for electrical work, diagnostics, or heavy-duty vehicles. By having the default labor rate defined here, or alternate rate you select here, already selected for customers and vehicles that apply, users don't have to stop and wonder or forget to apply the correct labor rate for this customer and vehicles since it was automatically decided. You can change which labor rate is assigned to a customer anytime by clicking on the Type button in the customer screen. All future orders will use the newly assigned labor rate. The customer's labor rate will be inherited by all of their vehicles. We'll show you how to make changes to vehicle labor rate for exceptions as the entry process and the vehicle screen are reviewed in other video clips.